video below that shows you how to paint your round. I am actually going to paint it white and then I might just add a little blue ombre to it. So there'll be an instructional video, video of how to do that. So I'm going to let these dry and once these dry and you paint your round, we'll come back and we'll add some fun little details. Alrighty. All right. So my pops are dry. So now you could leave them like this, but since we have some paint and some time, I'm going to add a little detail to them. So I'm not going to I'm not going to add detail to everyone. They're going to be staggered on the board. So right now, I am only going to add detail to the bottom. So I'm going to make the red into a watermelon. I'm going to give the yellow some chocolate dip. And the blue, like some red and white dots. Um, so let's start with our watermelon. I'm going to move these aside. And what I'm going to do, just on the bottom, I'm going to give it a nice white stripe line on the bottom. And that's going to become part of our rind. So I'm going to let that dry. Wash and dry my brush. And what I'm going to do is on the bottom of that white, I'm going to go back with some green, the green that we have. Move this down. go back with some green and just add a green stripe. Now that's super light. So I'm going to go back with a second coat, but I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to make some more green. More green. Just put a little second coat on top of there. And now to make this a watermelon, all we have to do is add some little seeds. So I am actually going to use the back of my brush and I'm just going to add, instead of just doing dots, I'm going to drag it to make like little lines. And I'm only going to make them on the top. That one in the center is pretty big. If you do make a mistake, although there's no mistakes in art, um, just have a wipe or paper towel handy and you could probably wipe it off. But I think that's good for my little watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Now, next up, we're gonna add some chocolate dip. So I am actually gonna mix a little black with a little of that brown. I don't really mind if it's like a black chocolate dip. It's dark chocolate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a, like a squiggly line it looks like drips a little and I'm just gonna put some black make it looks like it's dripping down but you could do any colors that you want to if you want to do like a blue raspberry dip go for it I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put sprinkles on it in a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm just going to put red and white dots, make this like a 4th of July little, so I'm going to put, I'm using the back of my brush again. That gives you like nice little circles. They take a little while to dry, but it's okay. So I'm going to do white and then wipe off my back of my brush. Then I am going to do some red ones. I'm gonna let those dry a little bit, but I actually like how these look. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some more things to my other pops. So I'm definitely gonna make this green. I'm gonna make it into a mint chip. So I'm gonna put some, again, I'm gonna use the back of my brush. I'm gonna put some little 
black dots. Now I think I'm only going to put it on the top. Now for this the little, let's do the orange one. I'm just going to put some sprinkles on it. And I'm just going to put use my brush and a tiny bit of paint. And if you have one of the wide brushes, I'll use the wide brush. Um, if you have a brush like this, you could use the corner to paint. But my brush is actually, I left it in the water overnight and it's not looking too good. So I'm just going to use this buddy little round brush. So I'm going to just draw little sprinkles. I think my purple one, I'm just going to add sprinkles like that too. I'm going to make some pink and some pink sprinkles. And you could do them all sprinkled because I think they look good sprinkled. I'll add some yellow and then I think we're good for the sprinkles. Delicious. Alrighty. That one looks good. Alright, so now we're, I'm going to go back to that chocolate dip one. I'm actually going to put... So wherever you did yellow on the edge. I'm going to go back and put black where my chocolate is just so I don't see any. I'm going to put another coat on that chocolate. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put some sprinkles on that one. I don't know if I should make the green. It's, hmm. Let's see how they look together. Oops. I actually like that. That looks delicious. All right, so I'm going to let that one black that black dry and then I'm going to add some sprinkles on it. I'm going to add some like jimmies, like those um the lines. Like have that. So after I add those sprinkles, because this has to dry a little, I am going to, I'll have a video. I'll put a little video of how to assemble everything together. But they should look delicious.